Hi everyone, I'm Erica and welcome to Friday Sews. So this week I'm pretty excited because I have two sewn items to show you and one finished knitted object. So um, let's get started. So my two sewn items are this set. I'll go ahead and stand on a chair so you guys can see the pants. Okay, so here's the set, and I'll show you the back. I've got some video and other pictures of this as well on Instagram um, that I will link down below. So what this is, let's start with the pants. These are the Pattern Emporium um, Palazzo pants, and I actually finally made a pair with pockets, which I hadn't done. This is my third pair of pants, and I finally got around to pockets. So I added these cute little buttons, and these are the Foxy Pockets with the slash styles. They have like a horizontal opening. Um, and the Foxy Pockets are a one-piece pocket, and you just top stitch them down. And then I just added these cute little buttons I found on Etsy. And I did the elasticated waist. They are so comfy. I cut the size 10 in the waist and then I grade down to the 8 in the hips and the legs and they fit me like a dream. And then this top, let me try to stay in focus, this top is another pattern emporium pattern and this is actually their going places dress and I just cut off the top half of the dress where it hits the waist and then added an inch so I could hem it. But the dress has this beautiful back that's strappy, but the straps are wide. This is the bound straps. And I did what's called the ballet neck. So it's a scoop neckline. And I really think it makes a really cute little set. I feel like I have made beach pajamas, which make me so happy. So today I have it styled with some coral, um, mostly because it's the knitted object I want to show you guys, which is kind of a pink with some coral to it. But I styled it on my Instagram with some classic red, like a red and blue bandana with birds on it and bright red Besame victory red lips. And it just had such a great 40s, like I'm on the side of a bomber sort of feeling. So definitely go and check that out. Um, but I love this set. I feel like it's super comfy. I could see myself wearing the pants with a lot of different things. I could see myself wearing the top with a lot of things. Um, the fabric is a Liverpool knit. And I got mine from Express Knits. And this is the navy color. So let's talk about the finished knitted object. So... I think I showed you guys my Myrna cord again and said that I was planning on making it with long sleeves. And I did. This is in the Knit Picks Zinnia colorway for their comfy worsted yarn, which is a cotton and, um, hello, hello, Percy. Let's not be out of the way. Okay, oh, on the chair. There we go. Okay, he's so funny. Um, that was Percy. So, um, what was I even talking about? Cats. Um, so it's a crop sweater knit from the top down in this um, very soft cotton and acrylic blend yarn. And um, I used my little buttons. I wish I would have had more buttons, but these are from Etsy. These are vintage buttons, which I think are really cute. And they only had five, so I kind of had to be a little creative. But I mostly wear my sweaters open, so I think it's totally fine. But let me try this on for you guys. So yeah, so this is, like I said, Untangling Knots Myrna. It's got a V front. I can button it. But like I said, I probably will never wear it actually buttoned. Um, and I just did yarn over buttonholes for that reason. So I was like, when am I ever going to button this? So of course they don't line up because I'm not paying attention. Anyway, wear it buttoned correctly. There's an idea of what it looks like. 
So I knit the sleeves. The sleeves on the original pattern only come like short, like above the elbow. So I extended them and I actually made them bigger. Like I did not start decreasing the sleeves till about right here, as you can see. And then I did rapid decreases. So I could get this kind of bigger sleeve. It's not a bishop sleeve. It's a little too subtle for that, but it does give me like a little bit of extra sleeve flow. I really like it paired back with the navy. Um, I love navy and coral together. I just think it's a really great uh, combination. So yeah, I'm so soft. It's so snug. I'm so happy with it. It feels like a hug when you wear it. So um, totally into that. So that was my sewing this week. I also filmed a couple videos for the sew along for the Yasmin dress. Um, and I'm planning on actually sewing the Sinclair Yasmin's this week, hopefully, and filming that for you guys so that you'll have the full sew along up by the end of the month. Um, you can join in by using the hashtag Yes, me and dress so along on Instagram. You can also join us on the Killer Kitsch Discord server, which I'll link down below, as well as the So A Vintage Style Dress community on Facebook. I would love to see you guys there and see your makes. And definitely, if you decide to make a Yasmin dress, um, please tag me because I want to see it. So anyway, that's my plan for the coming week. Hopefully I can get that done. Um, work has been quieter, a little bit quieter than usual, but the last two days have really picked up, so that's been great. Um, and aside from that, we've just been doing our thing, you know, trying to stay home and safe and healthy. Um, we uh, are working on finishing the CD still. I recorded some lines for a radio drama we're working on. We actually do radio dramas. I can link down below to some of the ones that we've done in the past. But this one is really cool. It's um, it's scary. <laughs> and I get to play three characters in it. So it's always fun. I always enjoy when I get to do radio dramas or voice work. Um, that is the stories that my husband and I tell in the society world. I'll put a link to his books and stuff too. I know, lots of links today. <laughs> but that's kind of what I've been doing, so that's what I've been interested in. Um, I also, this is my second week of doing Pilates, and um, today I did a Pilates workout though specifically for scoliosis, which I have. Um, so it was really interesting. I feel like I learned a lot about my body, a lot about the differences between the left and right side of my body. If you have scoliosis, you tend to have one side that's sort of more normal than the other. Um, for me, like my left shoulder is lower, my left hip is lower. So doing these Pilates exercises and really focusing on that, it was astounding how different my range of motion was on that side of my body versus the other one. But yeah, I'm still, I'm still really enjoying it. I'm still thinking it's gonna be something that's good. I wanna do it for my own mobility and to build up some strength. Um, I also saw that she has workouts that are specifically for things like endometriosis, which I also have, although it's, thank God, not as active now as it was when I was younger. Um, but yeah, so it's Jessica Valent Pilates. I'll put a link to her too. <laughs> So many links but yeah that's what I've been doing you know this week is sewing my I feel like I can use this as my uh, my beach pajamas so that's another make nine so if I'm not mistaken my make nine is almost done I just need to get fabric for another Lucida dress which I have not done yet but should because I wore a Lucida um, yesterday for a little while that was like a maxi dress version that I hacked and it was so comfortable. It was so perfect for this like, it feels like spring, but it's still 50 degrees kind of weather. So I really do need to get off my bum and make another one. And then in the Killer Kitsch Discord server, we actually have a sew along um, starting up for rompers and play suits and things like that. 
So I'm thinking of making another Sally by Closet Core Patterns and hacking it in a shorts because that could be fun. So I'm not sure. That's going to have to happen after the Yasmin dress so along because there's only so many hours in the day. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I've been making. That's my plans. What have you been up to? Talk to me about your crafting this week in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!